The Undertaker from Mokvaz. One visitor. An annoying dull sound sneaked into his dream. First he believed it would be a part of it. In this dream he tried to put someone to rest. After the coffin was released and touched the fresh, moisty earth, the deceased one woke up and hammered with his fists against the lid. But the grave digger didn't give a damn. He shoveled back the earth into the pit as he usually did. He never bothered. Once something is in a coffin, it stays there. It's not his job to release some poor soul which suddenly decided to wake up. His job was to keep this poor soul in its place. Certainly, several times a year it happened that the dead woke up. They battered against the coffin walls, they screamed, they begged. With his enormously sharpened senses, the undertaker could hear them all. But like he said, he didn't give a damn. He was paid to bury them, not to pull them out. The annoying sound persisted. It was definitely not a dream. It was much louder, periodical, stronger and vibrating. No woken soul would ever hammer in such a calm and mighty way like clockwork. Out of sleep, back to consciousness, the undertaker finally realized that some idiot was throwing stones at the shutters of his house. Through the high fence with razor-sharpened ends of the bars where many who tried to sneak into his graveyard were cut in half. Through the whole distance from the fence to his house. Someone really good at throwing with a nasty supply of rocks. The undertaker swore, crawled out of his bed, put his rags on and together with keys he grabbed his shovel. He promised the nightly intruder he would cut his head off, slowly and painfully. And there he stood, beneath a sickening foggy moonlight, outside his kingdom of the dead, the undertaker observed the ghastly silhouette still throwing rocks. This bastard brought a full car to them and was not aware of his presence. The grave digger approached nearly invisibly. He was feared for his cunning skills. Noiseless sneaking, for example. Well, not quite sneaking. He had this unpleasant habit of appearing behind someone's back out of nowhere. Not seldom this someone suffered a stroke and dropped dead, especially when the victim was inspecting the grave hole for some recently deceased relative. In such cases, the undertaker didn't even bother. He left them where he fell, and threw the coffin at him. Due to these reasons, the undertaker dug his holes a little deeper, just in case. The hooded person throwing rocks sensed his presence. It ceased and loosened the rock out of its hand. Slowly, it turned towards him. A woman, tall, slim, with a solid body used to hard labor. The face quite young, more pretty than ugly. She expected him. Are you going to use it against me? She pointed her look at his shovel. Her voice sounded calm and soft, but fearless. Possibly, he answered darkly. What do you want? Can we talk inside? She insisted. No. The woman bowed her head and remained silent. You can throw from here, you can talk from here, or piss off, he told her, unimpressed. I need someone excavated now, she confessed. The undertaker threw his shovel onto his shoulder, turned away and began to walk back to his graveyard. Wait, the woman shouted after him. Then she added shyly, I'll give you anything you want. The man stopped. When he turned to her, she could see the demonic smile on his scary face. For a few seconds, he examined her. The coat, the undertaker commanded. The woman obeyed. Slowly, she undressed the warm and heavy coat, rolled it carefully and put it into the cart. 
She had tight ink black robe on. Her collarbones beneath her pale skin reflected the moonlight as well as her onyx necklace. Her hair was beautiful, long, dense and uneasily tamed. He left her to wait in the cold and observed how she strived to resist the chilly night, how her breath would be drawn heavier, how her body would start to tremble and her lips turn blue. Follow me, he said finally. The undertaker walked. She followed several steps after him, through the gate, through the alley, into his house. Clothes, he pointed at his bed. She stood in the middle of a large room, dirty, simple, and rustically equipped. She looked around, pretending she hadn't heard him. Then she approached the massive wooden dinner table. With her back to him, she started to undress. Her attire dropped to the cold earthen floor. In front of the undertaker, a body of a steady, healthy woman was uncovered. Sinews, muscles, bones, round, tasty breasts, straight, long legs, all teeth in their place. She sat on the table and waited, her body still slightly trembling from the cold, her skin still slightly blue from the chill. The undertaker threw his shovel into a corner. Clumsily, he undressed his enormously tall, deformed and rough figure. Ugly and repulsive was how he appeared. He was still a man with animal desires. He took the strange woman he knew nothing about, not even her name. He didn't even care about it. Now she became his victim, or maybe he became hers. He took her like he did everything, harshly and savagely. At first she sensed only pain, she felt him like glowing iron, ready to melt and burn her entire body. She wished she had experienced some frenzy years ago, with someone she imagined loving, in times when she was younger and the world was a much better place to live in. He carelessly finished within her, and when he parted he noticed she still chewed on her own bloody lips. Whom do you wish to excavate? the undertaker asked, tying his trousers. My husband, the woman answered. <laughs>